hey guys welcome back to my channel once again in this video i'm going to be talking about 10 interesting things about kotonu Benin republic 10 interesting things if you think this is something you're interested in if you think this is something you want to watch then definitely want to keep watching this video so hey guys welcome back once again if you are seeing me for the first time Hi, I'm Barakat Amzat. And if you are not, thanks for sticking with me. As I said, I'll be talking about 10 interesting things about Kotonu Benin Republic. 10 things you can find that are so essential and also are very, very important. And it's a lot more interesting. So let us get right into the video. So the first one is going to be the security purpose. Kotonu is actually a country that has a lot of security measures. So it's the place is secure. Like when you are in the place, you don't feel left out. You don't feel somehow you are always feeling secure. Like the security there is, let me say 90% because I know it's 100% for anything, but it is 90%. There is no issue of any kidnapping. There is no issue of any stress. If you're two year old, like your baby is two years old and your baby is going to school, you can actually put your baby in a cab or on a bike that they should take your baby to school without any stress. You will actually see that baby back. Like it is that secure. So the country has a lot of security measure and their officers and other um, security personnel don't violate people's personality or something like that or people's life or anything you go on your own they don't care and you will not even find them on the road like that that they are just checking and checking and check. like i'm talking about when you get into the country so they have a lot of security measure but it is not those people that you can see every time like police officers in nigeria that you see here you see there you see no you will not find them anyhow but they are there so the security is 100 percent or why will you go and steal in a country that okay you know if you steal let me say one thousand <laughs> when you're going to return the money you're paying like a million or something like that. Oh, like it is just that good so the country is very very good the second thing about Kotonu is going to be the school processing. Like when I processed my own admission and everything, it was very simple. Like their life is not that hard in that country. So the school processing is very, very easy. You can get a lot of things that you do not even you cannot find in Nigeria. You can get it there. Like my own course, I am studying mass communication in my school right now. But other schools in Nigeria, when you're studying, let me see mass communication, you're going to pick is it a journalism, broadcasting or something like that. But my school they are teaching you everything together. Like they are always telling you that you can find yourself in any field. So when you find yourself there you don't need to like do as if you don't know you actually know something about it. So they are going to teach you everything and their school processing is very easy like you can bring all your credentials and everything and get your admission that same day if everything is up to standard so the school processing is very very easy and it is not that hard and it is the moment you are actually processing your admission and everything that you know okay this is what i'm going to do before i finish this is there's nothing like they're just bringing up some rubbish rubbish things when you're already in school or things that you do not have so they're going to tell you what you need to get things you can do before you leave there everything like you're going to the school processing is very very easy so it is somewhere i can recommend for you guys to come to and study like Kotonu is somewhere you can come and study if you don't have money to go to uk usa canada stuff like that but it is another country that you can always vouch for like you can always say okay i am going to this place and it is actually secure the place is so okay it is very very secure for you guys so you can always search about it or talk about it with people that know more about it for you to understand and then start processing your admission because strikes and everything in nigeria is already causing more harm than good so i think a country that is going to offer you things you want within a limited time uh, within, within a limited period of time and everything it is actually okay and you are not studying for long like yes their education is very very simple courses of four years is actually three years there and i think courses of seven years nine years clinical clinical here in nigeria because i don't know how many years they are using most times but there 
we can do it for four years. I think the minimum of all their courses is four years. So even if you are studying medicine, is four years. Um, electrical, um, mechanical engineering, four years. Everything is four years. Electrical engineering to four years. So and it is something they are going to teach you that Nigeria University they cannot put their mouth. They are teaching you the um, theoretical aspect, the written like everything. So it is just something I can recommend for you guys to come to. Another interesting thing about Kotonu is going to be their food stuff. Things are expensive because Naira is now um, devalued. Let me use that word um, to Sefa. So Sefa is more more higher than Naira right now. So most of their food is ex like if you are getting any Nigerian food there, it is expensive, expensive, expensive. But still, a lot of things they are cheap. Like their food stuff are cheap so if you're trying to get your food stuff and everything there you can always get it because they are cheap but if you are getting any nigerian food stuff there it is expensive it, till drinks safe like their drinks too are expensive nigerian drinks but if you are getting their own things it is less so their food stuff too is affordable which is something you can afford but right now naira is down Sefa is up, so you need to do your calculation before you just say, Okay, let me just go and get the stuff there. The stuff, make sure you understand more about it. Another one is going to be um, Kotonu Roads. Like, I don't know, you can actually use a car of three years, four years, you can still sell it from um, Kotonu to Nigeria because of how good the road is. Their car is not always getting spots. Like, it's only me maybe they are doing servicing. So let me just say mechanic work is not always selling more there in more than Nigeria. That's why you always find people doing mechanics here in Nigeria because one, our road is not good. But yeah, their road is good. Like, even to the place that they did not tell, like, Towed road are very good, not to talk of those places that are not towed, but they are so good, like, except when um, rain or anything like that, when there is rain, that you see that, okay, with this, um, the on towed road are not that good, but you can, it has a limited places that you can get to in Kotonu that you find that they are not towed, so the place is okay, anything express, they are towed, even more um streets are also towed but not like towed towed but the roads are very good like you cannot say you go to kotona your car spoil on the road because of tire or clinical no 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 their roads are very good like so good so kotona is another place i'm going to recommend for you guys another one is going to be their vacation center kotona has a lot of vacation center for you guys to go to like what are you waiting for you get places like, if you are staying in Kotonu, when you come back to Nigeria, you don't want to go to beach again. They are not collecting money from you guys to go to the beach. Except if you are getting something or you go to the beach that people have already um, put their own um, stamp and everything. So, okay, this place has their own name. But that does not mean you cannot go to the beach. But you, if you are sitting down under the tent and everything, you have to pay and buy something. So that is the only thing I have seen there. But if you are going alone you know, without sitting down in the tent and everything, you are free to go to their beach. There's nothing like they are collecting gate fee, anything. Just go enjoy your stay. Don't, don't stress yourself. Enjoy the, like there's no time you cannot go there. But I will advise you most times when you are going to the beach at night, like night night, make sure you are holding your ID card if you are a student. And I've not done anything about um people that are just going there for vacation. But if you are going there for vacation, I think their um, vacation center has maybe an ID or something like that. You can use to access it. So when there are police or anybody. Are walking around checking around at night they will not harass you or anything but they don't harass people they'll just have to talk to you ask you questions so it is more important for you to just know that the place is okay their vacation center is very good like it is so good so you guys just need to check it out there's a lot of places you can go to in Kotonu that you think okay this place is a vacation center so just know that the place is okay for you to do your vacations Another one is going to be electricity. Hmm. See, one thing and the essential thing in life is light, water, and let me say good road right now. So, we don't have light in Nigeria. Electricity, we don't have it. We don't have water. 
and we don't have good roads so those are the things that i say okay if you go to cotonou you can always find their electricity is stable like they have electricity 24 7. it's they don't off it they usually do like um a servicing within a period of one hour maybe in a week so that means they're going to send a message to everybody that okay it is time to off the light or something like they usually send messages but if you cannot read their french language you will not know that that is what they sent you just say that there's no light but within that one hour or 30 minutes people usually understand that they are doing maintenance so let me call it as maintenance it is not like the lights for but it is maintenance actually so cotonou is one of the best country i can say they have 24 hours lights like 24 hours nothing like they are off in it or in, except they want to do their maintenance stuff they don't off their light so there's nothing you, except, you just pay for if you are using meter or prepared you just pay and then you are going to use your light there's nothing like eh, nepa do not bring light can you continue no you will not even, you cannot even swear for their nepa because you don't know them they don't come you don't see them you don't say anything like nigeria that okay no come across your light you shout no it is none of their business if you do not have light in your house it's you that do not pay for your prepaid or your meter or you do not pay if you are using meter you pay at the end of the, uh, every month but if you are using prepaid you are paying yourself so it is your problem if you do not do it they don't care because there is light 24 7. i'm even sure there are um electricity people and nepas there they are jobless because they are not going anywhere <laughs> They don't have anywhere to go to because which has the to go and cut their light? No, they don't. They don't care. So the electricity is twenty four seven. This is another place I can recommend for content creator. If you're a content creator, I am staying in Nigeria. <laughs> Except you have money to burn for um generator, fuel, and everything. But if not, please just carry your bag and everything and come to Kotun. <laughs> just come to Kotun if you are any um content creator it's an advice but if you have the money for um 24 hours generator and fuel or anything or your area you are staying they usually bring light at a certain period of time then you can stay there but if not please and please i'm recommending cotonou for you to go to because of their 24 hours electricity another one is going to be bringing your nigerian car to cotonou yes i've heard a lot about bringing your cars to cotonou and everything you're going to collect your lessee passe so you can renew it every month like when you collect your lessee passe to with your nigerian um plate number to cotonou you can always renew it when you are still if you are still staying there maybe for a month two months three months you can re renew it every month and if not if you can pay at once just have your lessee passe and then you can pass but if you are getting a plate number in cotonou like plate number for your car i think you'll be paying nine thousand sefa every month for that to um renew your lessee possible for the new cotonou plate number you pay for that and the money is expensive i think it is 35 percent of the car or something like that so you need to do your findings very well before you just say you can collect cotonou plate number another one is going to be like still on this one is going to be if you are buying a car in kotono and then you are collecting the plate number there because you want to stay fully it's a little bit hard because when you get the car the car is cheap but when you are collecting your um plate number kotono's plate number they say i heard that it is half the price of the car you are getting to collect your plate number I've not verified it, but it is ninety percent, eighty percent real. So you have to pay half of the car money for the um, plate number. So I am not recommending you guys to get their plate number there, except you are already staying. Like you are fully sure you are staying there. Another one is going to be their airport. I've heard in Nigeria before I went there that the Kotonu do not have airport. It is a lie. They have airport though. <laughs> they have airport and their airport is okay like i've heard a lot of things about their airport i've not gone there but i'm going to do a video when i go there like there's a lot of tourist places i want to take you guys to when i get back to go because i'm already in nigeria right now but they have airports so kotono has airport they have it like the airport is beautiful like it is fine so make sure you do your findings so you will know that they have airports and then you can, it's not necessary you go by road you can yes and you can always go by road 
water and their air so you can always go by air so, so they have airport because no one has airport too people that say they do not have they have airports <laughs> just because the place is small does not mean they don't have things they have a lot of things that you will not even imagine that they have so another one this one is actually the gisting part this next one is going to be their feeding for the poor and rich see if you are rich in kotonu like you are rich 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 you can enjoy even if you are not rich rich but you can enjoy a lot of things like their food is sweet but if you don't have money you will drink bizarre you will eat pensho, <laughs> you eat that say like those are the foods that it is their food that you can eat when you don't have money. This rich food that I'm talking about is not like rich that expensive, but it is okay. This one that I said for the poor is going to be feeding for students most times. So if you don't have money as a student, those are the things you can quickly buy to eat and then you are okay. Maybe you have a class or something, you can always eat those things. But if you are rich, if you go to their restaurant, you will see food. You will enjoy. So they have food. Like you can always get good food there. But <laughs> they are feeding for the poor. <laughs> see, that's what I'm going to be using. They are feeding for the poor. Is is not... <laughs> If you have eaten their pet show before, you know that it is not easy, but it is okay. Yes, it is okay. And the last but not the least about them is uniform. There's nothing you are doing in Kotonu that you know wear uniform. If you are a nurse, uniform. Addresser, uniform. Tailor, like everything. Student, uniform. So even if you are in university, you are going to wear uniform. Your school has a uniform that you can wear or the color code you can always wear it as normal clothes so they have uniform there's nothing there that they don't have uniform bikes uniform car uniform everything uniform so if you know okay you're already tired of wearing uniform when you're in secondary school then don't go because you wear uniform like uniform uniform not in the sense of you wear tie your school will give you tie they will give you shirts they will give you maybe trousers or skirt i don't know they will give you like it's depend on your school but you can always wear your normal clothes with that same color so like my school now we are wearing white and blue my white shirt and my um trousers i'm always using my jeans with the same color and then you can wear your sneakers or sander but you don't wear slippers to school sneakers or sander comb your hair and everything it's just like normal dressing but the same color that's just the problem with it you are always wearing uniform there so this is going to be the end of this video if you enjoy it let me know down in the comment section and i will be glad to reply to your comments and i will see you in my next one don't forget to like share and comment please like this video like this video subscribe and share this video to your friends and family and i'll be seeing you in my next one you don't know who wants to go to kotonu you don't know people that want to understand more about kotonu so let me know down in the comment section which one have you done and i'll see you in my next one till then stay fabulous and stay blessed bye guys